Hi, my dear friends, welcome back. In this series on success image, a guide to relish and realize goals, we bring to you this video titled as Reflect Upon Yourself. You know when to take or let go of offers, how to create opportunities, more importantly, when to say no, whom to befriend and whom not to. Primarily life goals are many, but most important of them are classified as long-term goals, mid-term goals and short-term goals. Long-term goals are generally for 10 to 15 years of time span. Mid-term goals usually are of 5 years time span and short-term goals are usually of 1 to 2 years. In the long term, one of a close associate of mine sets a goal to have a certain amount of money in his bank account. One can plan to look at the future as to how one looks at them and their family position in the community in 10 to 15 years. What you should be able to afford your children in education, social status, etc. Or to either stay in your career or turn to a successful entrepreneur in an area of your choice. The amount of money you wish to have in your bank accounts, etc. What time you seek retirement from your current job or for your spouse, if he or she is on a job. These are some of the examples of long-term goals. Of late, I see many IT professionals who want to retire at 40 or 45 years and then pursue a career as freelance advisors, entrepreneurs, political aspirants, etc. This is the way of attributing our lifetime to fulfill our ambitions along with the professional needs. It also ensures peaceful existence just before we cross the middle age. A dignified way to move smoothly in life, that is to put in your best efforts at the younger middle age when you have the physical and mental strength and spend the later part of your life utilizing your expertise and experience to educate and serve fellow people. Indeed, in a noble way. During the 1980s and 1990s, I have seen many people think that men working up to 60 years is a must, lest it will be a disgraceful existence, so on and so forth. Much has changed since then. The incomes have gone high, easily 5 to 20 times compared to those years. More opportunities have developed. So, what is your model? Work till you turn 60 or till you turn 45 or there is another option if you are super intelligent and your main plan shall be to visualize. You may be aghast and looking with your eyes wide open. Oh, what is this visualizing? This cannot be done easily at all. You may need help of experts for this. This visualization is all about where the world will be 15 to 20 years from now. In rifle shooting, there is an event called as skeet shooting. Skeet shooting is a sport in which marksmen use shotguns to shoot at clay targets thrown into the air by spring devices called traps. It differs from trap shooting, from which it is derived that in skeet, traps are set at two points on the field and targets may be thrown diagonally across the shooter's field of vision as well as directly away from him. The sport was developed in 1915 by William Foster of the United States as informal shooting practice to provide hunters with a greater variety of shooting angles than was possible in trap shooting. With this visualization, you have an eye on where your shot meets your target. You are prepared for your future, even though your regular plan fails or partially succeeds. That is, you have visualized the target and alter your aim depending on the variation of the target. In skeet shooting, the flight of the clay discs is dependent on the force with which they are ejected, wind speed, direction, etc. Isn't it? The shooter and his gun shall be flexible to hit the target. In the same manner, you shall be flexible to see your target from time to time. This requires deep insights into predicting and that is the reason why I said you need expert advice. 
experts possess the sixth sense or the intuition with which they will be able to guide you. We will be discussing this part elsewhere. You have set your goal now and know where you are headed. In quantum physics and mathematics, we come across two functions called as scalar and vector. Scalar is defined to have a value but no direction. In other words, a scalar is directionless. A vector is defined to have a value as well as a direction. When you shoot a gun standing on a platform, the bullet leaves your gun with a force but you don't know where it ends up. But if you shoot the same aiming at an object or to intercept a flying object, you know the direction in which you are shooting. All the goals in life have to be vectors for achieving their stated purpose. Next, listen to failure stories. One of the biggest disadvantages of our institutions and universities is that the concepts of knowledge are dissipated with such strength that we are made to forget that failure ever exists. Our institutions and universities do not teach the various ways in which one can fail. There is perhaps a simple but unjustifiable reason. We believe that success has one way, but there are many ways to failure. You make it a habit to listen to the failure stories of people. There is trust embedded with great wisdom in such stories. You can work to understand the failed executives in your organization by interviewing people in the organization, perhaps informally, who knew or worked with them. There are only three categories of people in the world. The first one is those who make mistakes and never learn from their mistakes. These people never learn from their mistakes and continue committing the same time and again. They are generally losers in terms of personal achievements. We do not know what prevents them from learning, but can conclude that their subconscious mind is inactive. Their actions are out of the conscious mind. Either their brains are not tuned, depressed, and lower skills of learning or remembering, or their ego will not allow them to change. The reasons could be many, but hardly any of them accumulate wealth on their own strengths. The second category is make mistakes on their own and learn by themselves not to make similar mistakes again. This category of people is perhaps semi-ignorant because they believe in experiencing themselves. Once they had a bad or good experience, they despise the bad ones yielding negative outcomes and keep the good ones. They learn anything out of their own experience. These people may lack trust in their abilities and to extrapolate on their observations. The third category is make mistakes and learn and also through acquiring knowledge of mistakes of others. This category of people falls under the smartest class of people. They not only learn from their mistakes but also learn from the experience of others. These people read lots of books, watch movies and so on and so forth to gain the knowledge from the experience of others. These kind of people are keen observers of the world around them and are intensive readers of literature and books. They commit far less mistakes. They are the ones who reach the highest levels fast. Their success is at greater speeds. They read books, watch videos, audios and learn from them thereby eliminating the seeds of failures in their daily work plans. Notice here, not just the daily work, the plans itself will be safeguarded from failures. It is very important to cope up with failure stories of yourself and others. Learning of the failures of others by reading books, listening to lectures, etc. is a sure way of eliminating them from your daily routines. Now you decide which category you want to be. Obviously, you would prefer the third one. Cultivate the habits of reading, listening to others with attention. Friends, we come to the end of this video session. We request you to like the video in case you have liked it for sure and subscribe to the channel which is a lot of encouragement for us to move on giving more and more such good videos. And subscribe for sure because more and more videos may be restricted only to subscribers. 
you can subscribe by pressing the subscription link below this video or you can subscribe by pressing on the subscription which will follow later in this video. Thank you.